Good afternoon, Bobcats, and welcome to BBTV, your home for Buffett News. Today is Wednesday, April 4, 2018. My name is Darian, bringing you the news that matters. As always, let's begin with the daily announcements. Eighth graders applying for Creighton University's Talent Search and TRIO program. Please remember to return applications to Ms. Lewandowski in the counseling office by the end of this week. Seventh graders, are you interested in traveling to the Big Apple over spring break next year? Please bring in an adult you live with and attend an informational meeting about the spring break New York City trip on Tuesday, April 10th from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. in the Buffett Library. Dates, costs, and fundraising will all be discussed. National Junior Honor Society. There will be a rehearsal for the introduction ceremony this Thursday during homeroom for all new inductees. Report directly to the cafeteria. Bring all your items for dismissal at the beginning of homeroom. That's it for the announcements today, Bobcats. Let's now head over to Dalton and Daniela for two quick news stories on the thing that was released by Apple and something that happened at the zoo. iPads users have some, something big to celebrate. At the recent event in Chicago, Apple just revealed their latest iPad. The tablet is officially dubbed the iPad X, which is similarly named to the latest iPhone. The screen of the tablet is 9.7 inch, inches and it costs $329. The iPad X has up to 10 hours of battery and supports the Apple Pen as well as other tablet pens. The company stated that this iPad is more focused on education instead of fun, fun, and, fun side of, and fun and games. This device was released for pre-order this past Tuesday and will officially go on sale June 5th. The Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium is undergoing a lot of changes. This included several new exhibits and even the removal of the petting zoo. Recently, the IMAX received a major makeover. For the past several months, the popular movie theater has been closed for renovations. It is now open, we all, and we all know the details of the upgrades. The old IMAX screen was replaced by a brand new 3D 4K system. The old IMAX screen measured 61 feet high and 83 feet long. The size has been reduced to 41 feet high and 75 feet long. Although the new screen is smaller than the one before, the new system will allow for more films and better sound quality. So Bobcats, it's time to form your opinion. Do you think that is, is important for our zoo, or is it just all about the animals? What's up Bobcats? This is Mariah here in the Sports Zone to get you updated on all things sports. Today is Wednesday, which means it's time to check out a specific play athlete or sport. Today, we will be checking out track and field, which is one of our two spring sports offered here at Buffett. Here is what you need to know about this exciting and popular sport. First off, all meets take place on Wednesdays after school. The first meet of the season for the 7th and 8th graders will be happening tonight at Bryan. Head coaches for the sports include Mrs. Haley for the girls and Mr. Coulter for the boys. Some events you can watch are the 4x1 relay, 100 or 200 meter dash, shot put, and long jump. Be sure to support your Bobcats by heading out to that boys and girls track and field meet against the Bears at Bryant. That's all the time in the sports zone today. Now over to the entertainment corner. Good afternoon, Bobcats. This is Nick bringing you the coverage on everything that is important to you in your free time. Welcome to the Entertainment Corner. Today we are going to be checking out the world of music. Each summer in Council Bluffs, Harris Casino puts on a big event called the Stir Cove Concert Series. This is a summer long group of concerts featuring various musical artists. Recently they announced some of the big acts that will be making a stop at this venue. To start off their concert series, this summer, the popular group Migos will be performing on May 26th. 
Another popular group that will Bobcats may be interested is a group Pentatonics, who will perform at the end of the summer on September 11th. More concerts and information can be found on their website. That's all the time we have in the Entertainment Corner. Now let's head over to Twitter to see what our teachers are tweeting about. Bobcats, my name is Liz and I'm a former BBTV anchor from the 2015-2016 school year. It looks like the wheel has landed on happy what? This means that we'll be taking a closer look at a recent holiday or celebration. Today we will look at Student Council Spirit Day that Bobcats around our school participated on on Friday. For this Spirit Day, Bobcats dressed up as their dream career. We went out and took pictures of all, our, all of our spirited Bobcats. Enjoy! That's going to do it for our broadcast today, Bobcats. For more info on many of the stories you've heard and to see what we're working on for future episodes, be sure to follow our Twitter page, at BuffettBBTV. Signing off, this has been Darian. Have a terrific day, Bobcats. Mm -hmm.